Hey, don't you just love it when Morris Sussex Sports broadcast your game? Or do you prefer a silent motion detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports award winning service that brings you play by play commentary, live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Are you interested in a career in the STEM field? Then look to Sussex County Community College for high-tech programs in optics, robotics, engineering, machine tools, and more. Sussex provides a cross-disciplinary approach where students work closely with professors to ensure they get the best hands-on experience. The STEM industry is constantly evolving, so join this competitive industry and advance your STEM education today. Pursue your degree at Sussex County Community College by visiting sussex.edu slash apply. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. your dreams of a great education. At Sussex County Community College, you'll find the tuition is affordable and the faculty is focused on your success. Outstanding academics, personal attention, close to home, just a few of many reasons students choose Sussex. Visit sussex.edu to find out more. Me in this game, we got big plans. Overcoming every challenge. And right now, that means getting by him. It means putting in the time to get faster, to get stronger. One thing is for certain, I will never be outworked. Enough? Never. All right. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more.
I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years, from the big banks where I thought I could get the best, most competitive rate, to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business, and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt. Devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. Whether you are a trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. set and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, the ball in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, Get to the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score! And that is a base hit, the run will score. And freshman, pull a check, gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Uh -huh. Welcome to Sparta High School here in Sparta, New Jersey, as Morris Sussex Sports presents 
high school softball action as the host Sparta Spartans who come in a record of seven and two, three one in the NJAC American Division on their second year head coach David Roman. Roman take on the Sussex County rivals High Point who come in a record of six and two, three and two in the NJAC Freedom Division. It's a crossover game led by their coach James Seck, a former High Point athlete himself. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dan Cleary. Thanks for joining us. So this is a crossover battle between two teams that played each other almost every year back in the SCIL days and the early days of the NJAC. When, uh, you, I'm going to go back about seven or eight years when more than about 10 years when Sam Griner and Ali was playing for Sparta, Ali Fry for High Point. These are two of the programs along with Lenby Valley that have won state titles in Sussex County history. So great tradition going on with these two teams going at it. Hey, first we want to thank Steve Stoner, the outstanding athletic director here at Sparta for helping us get this game. So uh, I'm going to bring in my partner right now, Nick Federico. Nick, uh, high point seven and two, three and one, uh, excuse me, three and two in the freedom, but coming off a good weekend where they beat Opakon on Friday, 15 nothing, and they beat Newton 5-3 to avenge a loss to the Braves in the HWS to advance. Uh, this high point team won the Colonial Division last year, bumped up here to the freedom, but this is a good high point team. Absolutely, and I hope people love hearing the, both of our voices together. It seems like we've been working a lot together lately. That so, is true. So, uh, giving the people what they want, of course. So we're looking at looking at high point. They got a lot of sluggers on this team. Really, look, what you like to see? Reason behind the six and two record starts with Michaela Conklin, six fifteen average right now, sixteen hits. That leads high point right now. But honing in on Carolyn Cronin, thirteen RBIs this year, a five eighteen average. You know, these girls can really slug, and they're going up against a tough pitching matchup today for Sparta and Alexa Acker. It's going to be a real nice test for High Point today. So going for High Point in the circle today will be Megan Jennings, who got the wins over the weekend. Uh, Megan doing very well, but let's talk about Sparta. you got Alexa Acker in the circle, coming off a tremendous basketball season. Her, along with the Riley and Mason Munier on the softball team, won a state title in hoops. They had a great run in the fall in volleyball. Uh, coming into this game, Acker was going to Colgate 4-1. 30 innings pitch, eight hits, seven earned runs, uh, three earned runs, seven runs total, uh, 0.70 ERI, 54 Ks. She's just been terrific, and she also bats fourth. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. It's a, it's a pleasure to have a player that can do both on the mound and hit fourth, hit cleanup for this Sparta team. We're going to have a good game today. All right, Acker's going to start off with a strike, and leading off is Michaela Conklin, number two. Michaela's <clears throat> going to be playing Uh, excuse me, center field today. In there for a strike. We'll give you that Sparta D. We'll give you the outfield. In right field, Riley Munir, 31. In center field, Adrian Remo, going to be grounder to third. Field it and legging out McConklin with the good speed. And she'll get the infield single. But in uh, center field, is Adriana Remo, and in left field for the Spartans is Brianna Patricchio. Now batting will be Teague for High Point, Rachel Teague. She's coming in with a 5.17 batting average, 15 runs scored, seven stolen bases, and right away, she's gonna take off Conklin. She gets the stolen base. Just gonna say, Nick, she leads the team with 11 stolen bases. Make that 12. Yeah, make it 12, Dan. Show her the threat to run. That's a lot of stolen bases for, for really early on in the season. Alexa Acker in a little bit of trouble here with runners in scoring position. Work around that infield for Sparta in just a moment. Short, going to short game, fouled off with the bunt. At first base, Alexa Barry, Barry number 20. At second base, number 10, Mackenzie Masternak, when she's not pitching, because she's been sharing the duties with Acker, has been terrific as well. The great Mason Munier at shortstop, and at third base, Gabby Heim. Swing and a miss, and Acker will get her first strikeout. She'll get the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Hannah Doyle, 13 for 29, 448. Six runs scored, nine ribbies, and three doubles. So she's got a lot of pop in her bat, Nick. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. We've talked about it pregame. A lot of pop in all of these bats in high point. Definitely going to be a tough for, tough test for Alex Acker. It showed early with a run on scoring position, taking a nice lead there. Not afraid to steal third base, I'm guessing, but... Going to be a tough test today, for sure. Acker, 54 Ks and only two walks. We'll make it 55 Ks. Yeah. That's a nice ratio. Oh, absolutely. And here's a, one of the stories for Sparta coming into this season. Uh, Brim Curry, their outstanding catcher, tremendous volleyball and amazing basketball player. They won a state title. She was on one leg, basically, during that run, which she was able to play. 
She's not playing softball this year. She's got to give the ankle a rest. She's actually doing some track. And, Nick, she's such a great athlete. She might win, like, a, a HWS or an NJAC title in track. Dan, yeah. I would not put it past her. I <laughs> really would not. Not at all. So, Maya uh, Laliker behind the plate. Uh, number 14, rounding out the Sparta defense. So, one out here, top of the first. Thanks for joining us on Morris Sussex Sports. Acker deals. Inside corner, gets back-to-back -back Ks. That one looking. Yeah, what a nice delivery there by Acker. Maybe you could argue a little bit from outside in. Nice little pitch there, two outs to go. Going to Colgate, the pitch. Just a great athlete. This brings up Cronin. We talked about her. She's got a lot of pop in her bat, 13 ribbies, four runs scored, 22 uh, triples, and is Conklin in there? Yes, she is. So Conklin getting herself the third. Uh, Cronin hitting 518, 14 for 27. She is their leading RBI person, and she's in the right spot at the right time right now, Nick. Yeah, 13 RBIs for her, especially a, a, a good runner in, in Conklin who's, you know, that ball goes goes in play, she's going to take off. Fouled away. It's just a, what a great weapon, and it's become more of the norm over the last 10, 15 mm -hmm. years where people have – Teams have two pitchers. You have Acker, you have Masternak. Uh, well, the years of one horse going out and pitching 28 games in softball are over. And Sparta's got two good ones. And we're getting to see Acker today. Of course, Mackenzie Masternak, the other one, a 2.4 ERA for her season. Still not too bad, but when you have Alexa Acker, that's under one. And they've been kind of splitting it up, so it's been fairly even getting the starts. Little dribbler. And that'll be foul. Acker's last uh, appearance was against rival Pope John. Seven innings pitch, only allowed one hit, no runs, had 12 Ks in the win over Pope John, who they'll see Saturday in the HWS. Seven versus two, that game will be here at Sparta. Outside. This year she had a season high 17 Ks and a win over Chatham. Just having a great year. Acker ready to deal. And it's a shot out to center field. And squeeze for the final out. Nicely done there by Adriana Remo. So she works around the infield single and gets the fly ball to center to end the frame. So after one half inning of play here at Sparta High School, we have no score. We'll be back at the bottom of the first right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. And we're back here at Sparta, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Kluger, along with Nick Federico. Again, I want to thank Sparta High School, especially Athletic Director Steve Stoner, for helping us get this game on the air. Always great coming to Sparta. We did a ton of Sparta girls basketball games. That was a lot of fun watching them win at HWS, watching them play the best teams of the state during the regular season. Kathy Willie, the best. She put a great job she did coaching, and a lot of those kids are all coming back next year. Alexa Acker, one of the few seniors graduating. But... Uh, a lot of fun and always great coming here to Sparta. So we'll give you the defense for the High Point Wildcats. In the outfield, in center field is Michaela Conklin. In left field, uh, T Rachel Teague. In right field, Emma Rossi. And then around the horn at first base is Grace Pachowski. Second base, Hannah Doyle. Your shortstop is going to be Cronin, Cameron, Cameron Cronin, as Remo's going to lead off for Sparta. We'll give you the rest of that defense in a moment. Remo coming into this game, 12 for 34, 352 with six runs, two RBIs. And we saw how Michaela, Michaela Conklin could run, Nick. If she gets on base, she leads the team with eight stolen bases, the leadoff batter. Yeah, very important. You, put, you normally put your fastest and most Accurate hitter for average at the leadoff spot. And that's definitely what Remo is. Going up against 
Jennings, who has a 310 ERA, 37 strikeouts for her for high point. So I'd say we have a really good pitching matchup today. Jennings, 49 innings pitched, 25 walks, 49 Ks, allowing 17 earned runs. At third base for high point, Kenna Boulette, who plays field hockey. Catcher is Emma Leto. And in the circle, Megan Jennings. Last year, High Point Nick won the Colonial Division. They did a nice job with that. Um, it was their first division since 2014 when the great Allie Fry, Chelsea Eckert, Carly Satter played for Bar Fasano, and they won state titles in 12 and 14 and HWS titles then. And they had a nice year of 13 and 7. And they had some kids graduate, key kids like Cassie Britt, Maddie Henyon, Molly Noonan, and pitcher Ray Antigua, who's going to be at SCCC. So good job by Jennings. She starts the game off with a K. And now I bring up the ever dangerous Mason Munier. 13 home runs last year. She's already got three this year. Mason 11 for 26, 423. Eight runs, six RBIs. She's got the three homers, a triple. So, uh,. Nick, just make sure you got your glove on because it could be coming your way. I may have to watch out. Yes, you may. She's uh, she's eyeing right now. She's like, I'm aiming for that Cameron center field right now. There you go. Mason coming off a great hoop season, plays volleyball as well. But this is the sport she really shines. Grounder to third, gobbled up. Over to first, and now you get the dangerous Munir on the 5-3 put out. Two quick outs for Jennings. Good start to her outing so far. Don't want to give Alexa Acker enough time to really sit down and refocus. Good job by Boudelette, Boudelette at third base, getting the ball over there. Actually, that was Mackenzie Masternak that was up first, that second, folks. Okay. I apologize. Now it's Mason Munier. My bad, folks. So here's Munier batting third. So the warning's still on, Nick. <laughs> Masternak was 12 for 30, hitting 400 with five runs and four RBIs. And has done a great job pitching this year. Tied for the team, Liam, and hits, Dan, with Adriana Remo with 12. So this is Mason Munier, my apologies, McKenzie. Inside for the strike. Evened up at two or two. Fouled off. She was on that one. <laughs> Just a little late on that one. Had me ready to move. Got to be moving. <laughs> In softball ready position, Nick. <laughs> There's a reason I played lacrosse down baseball. <laughs> they left that up high. Got to be careful with Munir. See where Emma, see where Emma Rossi is standing in, in right field here? That's where I would be picking Davies. Yeah. So Munir draws the walk. Then I bring up Alexa Acker. Alexa 8 for 29, hitting 276, four run score, four RBIs. One home run on the year for as well for yes, Alexa. Yes, indeed. I think I'm just going to stay ready when Sparta's up to bat. Yeah, that's probably a pretty well. good idea. <laughs> Munir's going to go. And she'll be in there on the wild pitch. Throw her pass ball. I think that will was a little high. So with two outs, Acker has a chance. It's the obligatory, she can help herself here, Nick. I think by law you have to say that. Absolutely. When the pitcher's up at bat. Hacker, Jennings deals, grounder, gobbled up at short, over the first, uh, just in time, so a nice job. So working around the walk is Jennings, and we'll have no scores. We have one inning in the books here at the Morris Sussex Sports Network. We'll be back, no score, Spartan High Point.
If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book, Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at don'twaitleadnow.com. That's don'twaitleadnow.com. And we're back here at Sparta High School. Again, want to thank Steve Stoner and everyone here at Sparta for helping us get this game on live on the Morrisons Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico, and we have no scores. We go to the top of the second. And do up this inning for the High Point Wildcats. We, uh, Alyssa Smolinski, the designated player, Emma Leto, and Grace Pichowski. First inning, Acker gave up an infield single and then got two Ks and a fly out to center field to end the inning. Big week for Sparta coming up, Nick. Uh, obviously, we talked about the Pope John game on Saturday, mm -hmm. HWS. That'll be here. But uh, they got Morris Knowles. That's a huge division game. That'll be on the 27th. And then another great independent team, Livingston, on the 28th. So they got some quality competition coming up this week with a good high point team, Knowles, Livingston, and then Pope John. Yeah, Knowles and Pope John, of course. If you follow Sparta softball, division ga division games in the American. Sparta currently sitting third at 3-1. Three 3-0 and one. Three and oh record at home, Dan, so that favors them here today. The and will favor them against Pope John, probably. Pope John games H to, uh, HWS. So they already have the one game uh, win over them, so the next game will be at Pope John. So after first pitch to Smolinski. Smolinski is in there. Alyssa Smolinski for high point, batting 230. Two RBIs, three for 13. Steve Acker gets into a rhythm here. Shook off the first pitch. Swing and a miss. And Acker will register another K. Her third, and that'll bring up Emma Leto. Good job by Acker getting, to, getting her to chase outside. She's got great speed, but she has terrific control, working that up and down, side to side. And again, breaking in a new catcher. You know, last year was Bryn McCurry. There's a lot to be said for keeping the battery consistent. Grounder, Masternak over to first, quick out. And we have two outs here in the top and second. So now gobble that up. That'll bring up Grace Pichaski in there for a strike. And Nick, when you get kids like Acker in the circle, you know, Conklin got on with the infield single, got the third. If you don't get to her early, it's going to be very tough to get to her. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, you can already see it already here in the second inning, Dan. She is dialed in. She was ready to go before first pitch today. You could tell just by the body language, by her confidence so far on the hill. Doing a great job so far and and out away from getting another quick inning out. But looking to go one, two, three, as we said, worked around that infield single and give Conklin a ton of credit. She just legged that out mm -hmm. using that speed. Acker deals. And that's in there for strike three, so she gets two more Ks in this inning. And we'll head to the bottom of the second. No score here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network between High Point and Sparta. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. And we're back here at Sparta, bottom of the second, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico and Alex Acker impressive in two innings pitch. She's got only allowed the one hit to Conklin. She's got four Ks. 
Jennings first inning. She gave up the walk. She had one strikeout, no hits. She'll face Riley Munier, Gabby Heim, and Maya Laliker. As Riley Munier, as we said, her and Mason, great volleyball and uh, basketball seasons. Riley, seven for 29. Three runs scored, seven ribbies, and she has a home run, I believe, too. So, got some popper about as all these Spartans do. And a threat to run if she does get on base, because the all these Spartans are speedy and athletic. Gotta so lower the mic down there. The Jennings deals. 16 stolen bases this year for Sparta as a total. As opposed to High Point, it was 23, so two very good teams around the base paths, Dan. And I love that High Point picked this game up as an independent. Uh, last year they won the Colonial. They moved up to the Freedom. They, they could have maybe made a case to stay in the Colonial, but James Seck, as we said, was an outstanding athlete at, at High Point. He said, I want to get this program back to the Alley Fridays, so we're going to move up. We'll get into the freedom, better competition, and when we have a chance to play independence, like they were supposed to play Pope John this past weekend, but had to play in the HWS. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to because it's such a crunch in the spring to, to make up games. Fouled away. So I just love that mindset James Seck has. And his sister, older sister, Christina Seck, was a terrific softball player at High Point. And then went on and had a great career at Sussex County Community College. Pitch is low. And he made a great point, too, Nick. He goes, you want to play quality competition? Sure. And you know what? You don't have to travel too much to do that because there's so many good softball teams in the area. Fly ball coming at you, Nick. Off the fence. And Manier's going to get a double to lead things off. I was ready, Dan. You were ready. <laughs> Good hustle, though, trying to chase that down in center field. By Conklin. But that'll bring up Gabby Heim. Seven for 17. Hitting 411. Three RBIs. Has a chance to drive in a run here. But Riley almost got that. And almost got Nick. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't get any extra runs for hitting us. No, they do not. And there's a shot to left field under it, making the catch. First out of the inning. Rachel Teague with the grab there. And the spring of Maya Lalker with Munir at second. Up top for a ball. I gave that a ride. Sparta's definitely getting good contact against Jennings, so that's pretty telling right now. Again, up high again. But Teague made a nice play out in right mm -hmm. left field. Got the HWS Boys Tennis Tournament going on to the, the left of us. A lot of things going on here yeah. at Sparta. In there for a strike for Jennings. From 2011 to 2014, what a great rivalry these two teams had. That's a line single up the middle. Coach Roman's going to send Riley Munir, throw home, and it gets by. She's going to score. So Sparta will take the 1 0 lead on the RBI single. For Lalaker, she'll take second on the throw. Good job by Maya Locker, squaring that one up. A nice hustle play to home. That should bring up Brianna Patricchio, number 13. She skies one. Foul territory, squeezed. Getting the second out there. Pachowski. This should bring up for Sparta, Alexa Berry. Patricio was two for 20 with two runs scored. Berry two for 17, but makes them count with four RBIs and two that hits a home run and a double deck. Wow. So making them count. But two outs, runner on second for Sparta as they break through on the big RBI single from Lalaker. She 
Took second on the throw home. Good base running by her. Swing and a miss. Alexa Barry, just a sophomore, hitting 117. Four RBIs for her. Looking to add to that total here and get Sparta up 2-0. Outside. You, you give Sparta a 2-0 lead, that's usually going to work a lot of times when you have Masternak and today Acker in the circle. Absolutely. Jennings deals. Hot smash gets through. And it'll be 2-0 on the RBI. And again, Sparta going to be smart and going to take second base on the throw. So Berry gets the RBI single to center. So good base running. As Lalaker will come in to score, 2 0 Sparta to lead. And that should bring up the top of the order, Adriana Remo, who struck out her first time up. She's a little bunt and slapper up there. So the bottom of the lineup doing the damage here, Nick. Yeah, it's good getting, getting contributions from all the way around. You know, we mentioned pregame, Dan. These averages for Sparta are pretty high, one through nine. So not surprised totally here. Ball gets by. Runner will advance to third. Not been the ideal inning for Jennings so far. She's got she's got to slow down. She's got two outs. She got one more to go. She gets one to swing there. She's got to slow down, settle in, and keep Sparta at bay right now. You don't want this to become a big, big inning. No. You're already giving up two. And it's always a killer to give up that RBI single with two outs. Remo squares, drops it down. That'll roll foul. Coach Dave Roman coming over. He was a coach at St. Elizabeth, the high school, and then also at the college. To go with the great Rick Poots. And on the offers, it will be a strike, so Jennings will get out of the inning with the K, but Sparta will get a two across on RBI singles from Laliker and Berry, and we'll head to the top of the third with Sparta holding a 2 nothing lead live here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. And we're back here at Sparta. Sparta with a 2 0 lead for pitcher Alexa Hacker. She takes her final warm up throw. Thanks for joining us. Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico. And a big inning in the bottom of the second for the Spartans, Nick. But I, good job by High Point to keep it only two. Yeah, a lot of dangerous runners and runners in scoring position there for Sparta. Able to hit it. They got really good contact on Jennings in that inning. And they give Alexa Hacker a two nothing, a, a two, uh, two runs advantage here for her. This will bring up Emma Rossi. She has one hit this season for the High Point Wildcats. Acker deals high. She'll be followed by Kenna Boudelette and the top of the order, Michaela Conklin. So Lecker, uh, looks at Acker bringing some heat. You can hear the pop all the way out here. I was talking about Rick Poots. He won over 300 games with the Spartans, won that state title in 2011, section title in 06. Swing and a miss. Section title in 011 when they won the state title. 
And then in 2015, won a section title, went to the state finals, lost to Middletown South. A lot of great memories covering those teams. Christy Pelicani in 06, fouled away. That state championship team, Sam Griner, one of the best players that this county's ever seen. Went to play at University of South Florida, played in the College World Series. Mary Kaczynski on that team. Big swing and a miss, she gets the strikeout. First out of the inning, that'll bring up Boudelette. Acker just bringing heat after heat, heater after heater. And High Point just can't get in front of it right now. No, they cannot. So Boudelette comes up. She's got five hits this season, three runs scored, two ribbies. She's drawn four walks and has hit a double. Big swing and a miss for her. But that old 11 team, Nick, unbelievable team. Uh, we talked about Courtney Noon at second, Colleen Burzel at first, Kelsey O'Connor played short, Lauren Kruikowski was at third. I, as you can tell, I covered a lot of their games. <laughs> Casey Cresball in center with uh, Sam Casey. Meg Casey was the catcher, if I remember right. Nicole Decker, I think I got everybody. And Griner was just a monster. Pitch from Acker, fouled away. Good job staying alive by Boulet. When Griner came on, she kind of split time. A catcher and pitcher with Sarah Fletcher was a terrific pitcher for Sparta. Acker deals, low, good eye. It's a good at bat for Boulette. But Griner, unbelievable. And then they had the battles with Allie Fry, who came in for high point with Eckert and Satter in that gang. Lined, and then just over Master Dak's head. So a great at bat for Boulette. She gets a single. And a 2 2 even count, Dan. Takes a good swing at it, just puts it over the second baseman. Runner on here for High Point with an opportunity to get some runs in. That'll bring up the top of the order, Michaela Conklin. She got on on an infield single. We'll see if Coach James Seck goes to a little ball here. She'll swing away. High Point winning state titles in 2012 and 14, both in extra inning fashion. I was lucky to cover both of those as well. Left up high. Barbara Fasano, her husband Jim, did a great job. As we mentioned, Ali Fry, Carly Satter, Chelsea Eckert. In the first championship game, Jamie Christensen with the big hit to win the game as Carly Satter would hurt her leg. She had to pull quad and dragged herself around third base and scored for them to win the state title beating Kingsway. And Kingsway sported the number well, according to Gatorade, the player of the year in New Jersey. And Kelsey Dimmick, who ended up playing at Temple. So they went down there. Kings, we thought they were going to beat all those youngsters, and I pointed out other, th <laughs> other things on their mind, and they got the championship. They were a bunch of sophomores. Fouled away. And High Point came back in 2014 to beat Robbinsville in extra innings. Remember, Autumn Smith had a big hit in that game late in the game, the double, and she came around and scored the eventual game winner. Fry had 17 strikeouts in that game. There's a ground ball. And that's going to get through for a single, so High Point's got something cooking. Yeah, Dan, there was a threat there. Baudelaire wasn't a threat to steal to steal second here. A ground ball could end this inning with a double play, but good placement there on the hit. Two on with one out for High Point. Rachel Teague will come up. Rachel struck out her first time up. So High Point got runners on first and second, one out. Here in the top of the third, they trail 2-0. Squares, drops it down, that'll go foul. You like the sacrifice idea there, put two of your runners on second and third in scoring position. Right, and with Doyle and Cronin waiting on deck, the two best RBI batters in your lineup. Be interesting to see if she sticks with the bunt here, see what the strategy will be. Showed it once, does it again, pops it up though, and goes right to the catcher. That's the risky run, right Dan? Mm-hmm. You still get a key RBI contributor at the plate now with two on, with two outs. Anna Doyle had a great year last year. Terrific athlete. She struck out her first time up looking. The Acker trying to get out of this mini jam. Grounder can not find a hole, it does. And the runner will score coming around. Throw down the third and all the runners, well they stay at first and third, great job. 
by Doyle with the single to the left. Excuse me, right field. Tenth ribby for Doyle. Cuts this lead in half, and Alexa Acker a little bit in trouble here with two outs. So Boudelette will come around the score. Conklin will get the third, and this will bring up Cronin. Cronin's first time out. She hit it solidly, but right to center fielder. Remo. This is who you want at the plate, Dan, for your high point. Good eye. Good take there by Cronin. Got to like the answer here by high point in the top of the second after giving up the two runs in the, uh, excuse me, top of the third after giving up the runs in the bottom of the second. They're right back in it. A little chopper. You see that's foul. And there's the call. Especially when it seemed like for the first two innings that Alexa Acker was virtually unhittable. They've gotten to her here in the third. And a good opportunity to tie this. Two outs, runners on the corner. Acker ready to deal. Little number in front of the plate, gobbled up by Lalaker. She gets it over the first to end the inning. So good job by Maya. She's got an RBI hit and a good defensive play. So two and a half in the books here at Sparta High School. Our score, Sparta two, high point one. We'll be back at the bottom of the third right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Back here at Sparta as we head to the bottom of the third. Then again, I want to thank Steve Stone for having us. Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico. A crossover game in the NJAC. As high points in the very competitive Freedom Division. And not going to get much better than the American Division with the teams that are in that. When you look at the teams there, Knowles, Roxbury with Haley, Eric Chirello, uh, Sparta, Pope John, Randolph, Mount Olive, and Chatham. That's a great division. But High Point's getting a run here in the bottom, in the top of the first. A big RBI hit from Hannah Doyle. And we are at 2 1. Sparta will have 2 3 4 up this inning. Masternak, Mason Munir, and Alexa Acker. The so Masternak rounded out the third her first time up. Snack will get into the box. And Jennings will deal. That'll be inside for a ball. Jennings coming into this inning. Three hits, two Ks, one walk, and two runs. Acker through three. Three hits, one run, five Ks. As an old Sussex County guy, I love when these SEIL, old SEIL teams play and I just have to explain, SEIL stands for Sussex County Interscholastic League. You figure a lot of these kids, the league's been around since 2009, they have no idea what that league is. I didn't either when I was in high school, Dan. Now that I think about it, in the old gym in, at Jefferson High School, probably the gym that, that you know as, the, you know, as the, the main gym back in the day, before the old Freedom Gym, right. the court used to say SEIL, and I always wondered, what does that mean? Now I know. Yes, you do. And in the process, made me feel very old. <laughs> All right, a walk to get the inning going. So Masternak will draw the base on balls, and that'll bring up the dangerous Mason Munir, who walked the first time up. I don't think we'll see a bunt here. See if Masternak takes off. Munir fouls it away. Masternak one stolen base for her. Munir again goes the other way. They're going to foul into the bleachers. Overcast day here at Sparta. A little chilly, but not too bad. A 
We said a great tradition these two programs have. Along with Lenape Valley, the only programs to win softball state titles in Sussex County. Left up top. Lenape won back-to-back -back titles in 90 and 91. Karen Lewandowski was a great pitcher for them. Pete Correa was a coach of the first one. And you can throw in Jefferson because they were part of the SCIL. Mm -hmm. Swing and a miss, and that's a huge strikeout for Jennings. So one out, Munir goes down, swing, and that brings a backer. Jefferson won back-to-back -back titles in 03 and 04 under the great Ed Levins. Acker grounded out to short her first time up. Close play at first base. She hustled, but a, a good play at short by Cronin. Jennings deals. Just a little low. That looked good. I think that might have been a makeup call for the first one, Dan. I think the little, from my advantage point, at least, was a little bit inside. Maybe cross the plate a little bit coming back in. Jennings with the one out. Runner on first. Foul the way. Rounder foul. High point six game is tomorrow. They'll play Kittatinny. That's always a battle when those two teams get together. In fact, High Point looking to do a little bit more revenge after losing to Newton in the regular season. They beat him this past weekend in the HWS. They lost to Kittatinny 3-2 on opening day. Ground the foul again, so a chance to make up for another loss. And then they Saturday will go down and travel play top seeded Hunter and Central in the HWS quarterfinals. And the win over Newton. Cronin was two for three with two RBIs. Conklin three for four. Fouled away. Teague had two hits and Doyle had two doubles. Jennings went seven, uh, seven innings strong, seven Ks. Scattered seven hits and only gave up the three runs. So that was a real nice win for High Point. Ripped that. And that will be fair. And that'll be a double for Alexa Acker. Acker did a good job fighting off all those foul pitches, around, probably about three in a row. Finally squares one up, good contact there, nice double. Two runners on. Masternak at third, second and third, one out. Now bring up Riley Munier. And Riley Munier almost put it over the fence. So we're on high alert again, boys. <laughs> there, Nixon softball ready position. Riley hit it right to dead center off the fence. One out, runners on second and third at the Acker rips that line double to left. Pitches in there for a strike. Left up high and outside. Gabby Heim on deck. Gabby flew out to left field her first time up. The Munir up there now, she scored after hitting that double. And what a great job by Jennings to get a strikeout. She's got strikeouts against the Muneers. So now two outs, and that'll bring up Gabby Heim. Gabby hitting 411, three RBIs, seven for 17. Chance here to do some damage. She goes the other way again. I love the bulldog mentality Jennings has in the circle. Absolutely, Dan. You know, she's battling in there with the with these Sparta bats in the box. Just outside, we evened up in one apiece. You know, going up against that, that battle against Acker, fouling pitch after pitch after pitch, and then giving that one up, you know, that does stink if you're a starting pitcher, but then you come back, you got to have a short memory. Absolutely, and you're doing it against a D1 kid in Acker. Leaves it, leaves it. So big pitch coming up here. Skies it out to left field. That'll go off the fence. 
two runs will score, and it's a big RBI double for Gabby Heim. Going the other way, twice going the other way. Last one was caught. That one, no one was getting to, Nick. Yeah, great slap there to left center there for Gabby Heim. Nice two-run double, opens this one up a little bit, it's 4-1. Big hit with two outs, brings up Laliker. She had an RBI single. First pitch, grounds at the third, first, and that'll end the inning. But Sparta will put two across. So we're through three innings of play here at Sparta High School. Our score, Sparta four. I boy one, we'll be back with the top of the fourth right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. to relax during these stressful times? Well then look no further than modern acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern acupuncture, making lives better. Back here at Sparta High School, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico. Sparta with two runs in the bottom of the third to increase their lead to 4-1. Big shot was at Gabby Hine with a two-run RBI double to left center. To plate Mackenzie Masternock who walked and Alexa Acker who doubled. So we head to the top of the fourth. Alexa Acker through three innings, three hits, one run, five Ks. And she'll see Smolinski, uh, Leto, and Pichowski. Smolinski struck out her first time up. Again, I want to thank Steve Stoner and Sparta High School for sponsoring today's game. We really appreciate it. Now, I point out a little battle back in them when they were down 2-0. Two, two Can they do it here in the fourth, Nick? I'd like to say it. You really do, but Alexa Acker had a little bit of time. You know, she got on the base pass. She contributed for for the, her for her own run total in this one. So let's see if High Point can continue that momentum. They they certainly do have the slugging to do it. They certainly do. Acker takes first pitch, and that's in there for a strike for Acker. Big swing that'll go foul. Acker ready to deal. Big swing and a miss and another strikeout for Acker. She loves that outside part of the plate, Dan. I've been noticing. She's getting a lot of swing and misses on that side of the plate. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Absolutely. 6K of the game for Alexa Acker. Gonna bring up Leto, who is grounded out to second her first time up. And she's going to go to first. And taking it all by herself is the first baseman, Alexa Berry, and a quick two outs for Alexa Acker. Now what you want if you're high point, giving up two runs there in the third. That'll bring up Pachowski. She also struck out her first time up. Yeah, high point's bat's gonna try and get in a little bit longer battle against Alexa Acker. She hasn't thrown that many pitches. The most she probably did was probably in that last inning. They gotta be able to battle like Sparta's been doing on the other end. That's in there for the strike. But it's definitely hard when Acker's throwing absolute gas to the plate. Absolutely in the 60s. Goes outside, one and one. These two teams played last year for the first time in a long time. 
It was a 12-2 win for Sparta in five innings. Masternak got the win. And then the last time they played before that was 2013 and 14, and Allie Fry and the Wildcats got the win then. They were in the NJAC National Division together for several years until they realigned it. Talk about those state titles for High Point. They won a section title in the early 2000s when Richie Higgins was the head coach. Big swing and a miss, and a strikeout will end a one, two, three inning. So Acker settles down after giving the one run in the third. So we will head to the bottom of the fourth here at Sparta. Our score, Sparta four, High Point one. We'll be right back live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Fiber.com today to learn more. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book, Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at don'twaitleadnow.com. That's don'twaitleadnow.com. Back here at Sparta as Megan Jennings completes her warm-ups here to start the bottom of the fourth. Live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network, Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico. And she will face Brianna Patricchio, Alexa Berry, and the top of the order in Andriana Remo for Sparta. Patricchio, first time out. She popped up to first. 4-1 our score. 1-2-3, top of the fourth for Acker. After the Spartans tacked onto the lead, three run lead, four one game. Last year when they won the Colonial Division, Rian Teague was the main pitcher for High Point. First pitch in there for a strike. Jennings needs a big inning here, Dan coming back after letting up those two runs against Sparta again. Needs, another, needs a good bounce back inning in this one. Yeah, a nice clean inning would help the Wildcats foul the way. Before the inning ended, I was talking about them winning a high point of section title in the early 2000s. I was, Becky Pollock was the pitcher then. She was tremendous. She went out and played at Sussex County Community College and was an All-American for Nick DiGennaro. High point players over here, Corey Harrington, amazing three sport athlete, field hockey, baskets, and softball. Left up high. My friend Kerry Ludeking, who's the head coach at Vernon, was a terrific athlete at High Point, was a great softball player, played at William Patterson. Katie Higgins was another good pitcher. She was around the same time as Corey Harrington. So High Point's had a great tradition over the years of softball. And after a couple of little bit down years, they came back last year, won that division title. And Coach James Seck hoping to keep them at that championship level. That quarter, so she'll get first base. And I bring up Berry, who had a big RBI single to center field in the bottom of the second. They make it 2 nothing Sparta at the time. Big opportunity for Sparta on the other end to open this one up. Left up high. Sparta with the three run lead. You can hear the plane flying over. I don't know if that plane, that, that's not going to Sussex Airport. It's a little <laughs> bit too big there. <laughs> if that lands at Sussex Airport, someone should warn them over there. I radio the tower over there. It's a guy in a lawn chair. <laughs> Skied and squeezing it. First baseman, nicely done. 
For a second there, I thought, for a second there, I thought that was coming right to us, Dan. <laughs> After that first one, I'm like, oh. Yep. Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out. That'll bring up the top of the order, Remo. Slapping Bunter. She struck out twice. She's going to square. In there for a strike. Left that side, one and one. And that freedom division up up in the air, as is the American division. There's no clear cut favorite in either one of those divisions. Look at the freedom. Jefferson, they're four and one in the division, and they lost the high point. That's probably their best win of the year, high point. Jennings gave up seven hits, five Ks. Leto had two hits in that game and Popped up, short, squeezed. And we'll have two outs. Runner stays at first. Yeah, that Freedom Division's tight, Dan. Jefferson at four and one, Newton three and one, high point three and two, even Vernon at two and two. All teams capable of beating each other. I mean, just the high point, that was a great win over Jefferson at the time. They were ranked in the state according to NJ.com. They have two great pitchers in Kenny Kast Kennedy Kostiki and Karma Shrek. Christine Pugel is a good player for them. Julian Muter. Amy Pierce done a nice job taking over that program. Former star player at Hackett Sound. All right, two outs running on first for Masternak. She walked and scored in the third inning. And grounded out the third. Jennings just missing the corner on that one, making it 2-1. Good job of the catcher to stop that. But way ahead in the count right now is Masternak. In there for a strike with Munir on deck. Munir has struck out and walked. So they've kept her in check, which is very tough to do. Line to right field, that's gonna drop in there. And that's gonna be a single and we'll get a little bit of an E there out in right field. So she'll get to second base. So good job by Masternak. And runners on the corners for Mason Munir. Good job by Masternak in a full count situation, just slapping it to left to right field here. So Munir with a chance here with two men on, or two people on, I should say, to really extend that lead. And I, if, it, if I'm Jennings, like right there, I'm not giving in to her. I'm you know, if you walk her, you walk her. Uh huh. Although then you're taking your chances with Alexa Acker, who ripped that double last time up. She's the first two pitches really not giving me some junior anything to hit. She's just being smart. Mm -hmm. She's got two outs. She's got a base open. It's basically a pick your poison, like you said, Dan. It's either, it's either Munir or it's or it's Acker. Pick your poison, really. If she gets on base and drives in another run, you got Acker on with two on. It's not a great scenario for Jennings if if uh, if Munir gets on here. She does have the two outs to work. Again, being very careful. Here comes the runner trying to score, and she's out. Great job to end the inning as the catcher makes a great play. Good heads Emma up. Leto. Good heads up play at the plate there by Jennings. We're gonna take a look at that again. The ball gets by. Here comes the runner and the tag, and they are out for the third out. So. They'll keep the score 4-1 with a good defensive play by Leto, the catcher. And we'll head to the top of the fifth. Our score, Sparta 4, high point 1. We'll be right back, live in the Morris Social Sports Network. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking Cheetah, Bullet Train, 
lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. And welcome back to Sparta High School. Live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico. Again, I want to thank Sparta High School for getting this game on the air. And always a pleasure to see Steve Stoner, the outstanding athletic director here. Appreciate everything he's done. So we're going to go to the top of the fifth here. It'll be Rossi, Boudelet, and Conklin at the top of the order. Rossi struck out first time up. As Acker going through the lineup here. Thus far coming into this inning, Alex Acker allowing four hits. Seven Ks and one run. And another terrific performance by the Colgate bound righty. First pitch swinging, strike one. Fourth inning was a clean one for Acker. And she set the order down, in uh, the batting order down in order. Grounded foul, really, one and two. Really outside of the third, Dan, she's had completely clean one, two, three. Innings. First to, first leadoff batter, Conklin got on with the infield yep. single, but she worked around that, no problem. But you're exactly right. And drop third strike, but we'll get it over there for the strikeout, number eight. Two, three, put out with the K. And that'll bring up Boudelette, who had the single to right field. She scored high points, long run. And High Point, again, playing this game, it's just going to help them down the road in their division, in Group 2. And, you know, HWS when they go down to play Hunter and Central on Saturday. Yep. So obviously, they want to win the game, but this is a great tune-up. Swing and a miss. Baudelaire tied for the team lead and walks. Usually has a good eye, eye on her, but down 0-2 early. One and two. They're even the count at two apiece. Job by Baudelaire, keeping keeping a good eye, being patient, waiting on a good pitch to hit. Line foul. HWS quarterfinals, number nine, High Point, number one, Henry Central, number five, North Warren. We'll go to number four, Del Val. Number 11, Belvedere, had the upset win over South Hunterdon. They'll go to number three, North Hunterdon. And PJ will come here, 7 2 matchup in the Battle of Sparta. And Acker bears down and gets the strikeout. So now bring up the top of the order. Michaela Conklin, who's two for two today. So Conklin's done a nice job against Hacker. She had the infield single and then singled to left. Big swing by Conklin. Hunter Central won the HWS last year. They beat Pope John over at Lenape Valley High School. So chopper in front of the plate. Acker gets there, guns it over, and Conklin, using those wheels, gets her third hit. Nice swinging bunt there by Conklin, you could say. Runner on. I mean, Acker played that perfectly. Mm -hmm. That's when speed kills. So that'll bring up Teague. She struck out and on a bunt attempt popped up to the catcher. She squares again. Talk about that Hunter Central star to Stefano. She's back. She was the MVP of the tournament last year. She pitches and hits for Hunter and Central. Corey Grillo back. Hot smash. That's going to get through for a base hit. So Teague with the single. And High Point 
has runners on first and second. And that'll bring up Hannah Doyle, who had the RBI for high point in the third inning. The RBI single to right field. So a big opportunity here for Doyle to get the Wildcats right back in this, Nick. Second in the team on RBIs with nine, a 448 batting average. Again, with runners on. This is what you wanted to play for high point with two outs. After Acker got the two quick strikeouts, Conklin using that speed gets things going. Beats out, you know, most people are going to get thrown out on that play. Yep. Her speed gets her the first and gets a little thing going. Allows Teague to get up, get a single. Now Doyle has a chance with runners on first and second and two outs. She hits the ground to the first. Is that fair? And it is fair. And that will end the inning. So Acker will get out of it on the three unassisted. So after four and a half innings of play here at Sparta High School, our score, Sparta four, high point one. We'll have the bottom of the fifth right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your... Sparta, bottom of the fifth. Sparta with a 4-1 lead. High point threatened that top of the fifth. But Alexa Acker got out of it with the ground of the first. After Michaela Cochran legged out an infield single. And Rachel Teague had a rip to left field. But Alexa Acker worked out of it. She's given up six hits, nine Ks, one run. Sparta this inning, Mason Munir will lead off. She was up when Sparta tried to score on the wild pitch. And a great play by Emiletto, the catcher. She got the ball to the pitcher Jennings for the put out. And are we seeing a change in the order here? Let's see. Umpire going over checking some things. Jennings still in there looking around the high point. Is anyone new out there? There's a change being made. This should be, and it is Munir. But we'll have to take a look around and see who they were talking about with that change. Munir with a rip to short, gobbled up, and she's out. Good play at short and at first. So Munir, 6 3, that'll bring up Acker. Cronin with a great job stopping that hot smash and Grace Pachowski with the scoop. We have a new right fielder and that will be Chloe Yaneko. So that was the change. Put Chloe in there at right field. And I'll bring up Alexa Acker, ground out to short, doubled and scored in the third inning. Leaves it up high. The outfield respecting the power of Alexa Acker, center fielder and left fielder on the right side of us. Really backed up all the way to the wall. Jennings deals. That's in there for a strike. They obviously softball is Acker's sport, but she's tremendous and volleyball and really stepped up her game on the hardwood. And, uh, I don't think it's crazy to say, with all that talent with Bryn McCurry and Ali Sweeney, they needed all those pieces to work. And Alexa really stepped up and was one of the best post players around. And if she didn't step up her game, I don't know if they win a state title. She's going to draw a walk. And that's going to bring up Riley Munier, who doubled, scored, and struck out. Alexa Acker, no stolen bases this year yet, but I wouldn't put it past her with her athleticism. And the ball's going to scoop by on the wild pitch, so no need for it. So she's in scoring position. And as you mentioned, Nick, a great athlete. They don't use a runner for her. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think there's any courtesy runners for this for either team. No, not yet. So 
One out. Acker on second after walking and going to second on the wild pitch. Allowing Munir to, Riley Munir with an RBI opportunity. Jennings deals. That's in there for a strike. We got two teams here still alive in the HWS in the final eight. Got to love that. Swing and a miss. Emma Rossi does stay in the game. She moves from right to left field. And that's going to be a line drive to right. Gobbled up. And Acker's going to come around the score on the RBI single from Riley Munir. 5-1 Sparta leads. It's Riley's eighth RBI, that lead that's leading, adding to her totals for the Spartans. This will bring up Gabby Heim, who flew out and then ripped a two, two run, big two-run double in the third inning. Sparta extends their lead to 5-1. With one out here in the bottom of the fifth. There's a rip to left field, right there to the left field, a great grab by Emma Rossi. Second out. Boy, that couple inches the other way, and we're gonna have the merry-go-round on the bases, Nick. Absolutely. Deck. That was a screamer to left field. Good job by Rossi, so Heim goes down. So two outs, that brings up Laliker, who singled, drove in a run, and scored a run in the second inning, and then she, uh, Lined out to first in the third. Up top. Well, that was ripped. A good job in, in left field. In there for a strike. High and away pitch there by Jennings. Jennings is battled. The ground ball, that's going to find right field. And Munir is going to go to third, and they're going to send her. And she's going to score. So Laliker with the single. Munir will score on the E. So no RBI for Laliker. She'll take second on the E. That'll bring up Patricio, who popped up to first and was hit by a pitch. Sparta's just had great situa situational hitting tonight, Dan. Runners in scoring position, they've been great. Everything going well for the Spartans this afternoon. So Laliker with two hits today. Left up top. Jennings has pitch, pitched a good game today, She's Dan. battled. She has absolutely battled, like you said before. But this Sparta lineup is, is just stacked. There's no holes. There's no one you can work around. Yeah. They do a good job working deep into counts, getting into favorable counts, two ones, three twos. Fouled away. And unfortunately, a couple errors in the field have kind of done high point in a little bit in this inning. Even count at two and two. Jennings ready to deal. And caught third strike on the tip. So she'll give up the two runs, but she'll get a strike out to end the inning. So we go through five innings of play here at Sparta High School. As Sparta puts the two across. They have a 6-1 lead. We'll head to the top of the six right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network.
you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than modern acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Back here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network here at Sparta High School. Sparta attacking on two runs in the bottom of the fifth, extend their lead to six to one. Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico. And we have one change in the field. That's second base checking in for Sparta is Grace Conrad. So Alexa Acker threw five innings, six hits, nine Ks, only the one run. She's been terrific. She has herself a five-run lead. And this inning, she'll face Cronin, Spolinski, and Leto. Sparta, though, keeping Masternak's bat in the lineup as she moves to left field. Let's see what Acker can do this inning. Cronin flew out and hit a little number in front of the plate for the two-three put out. First pitch swinging. Gobbles it up there, and Munir can't get to it. And she's going to reach on the E. Much needed early base runner there for high point. Doesn't matter how you get it. But down 6-1. Get all you need to get here in this inning. I bring up Smolinski, who struck out twice. And first pitch swing on her. Acker looks at second. We'll go get the shore out at first. It's almost like a bunt. Field is choice, first out, one three. And I bring up Leto who grounded out the second and grounded the first. High point not being very patient, swinging at first pitches on Alexa Acker, done a good job so far. Swinging bunt, getting on second. And third straight time they swing at the first offering. I think coach James Sex saw something and told his kids Go after it, be yep. aggressive in the count. This will bring up, should be Pachowski. Number 13. So Acker after the error to lead off the inning. And again, first pitch swinging. So something Coach Sack has seen, telling his kids go up there, be aggressive. Runner on third. Cronin who reached down the error, so trying to get that run across. Acker deals. That's in there. A low and away, just gets the corner there. 0-2 count for Alexa Acker. Way ahead here in the top of the sixth. Runner on third. Oh, in there for the strikeout. So she battles back with the K to end the inning. Works around the error. And we will head to the bottom of the sixth with Sparta holding a 6-1 lead live here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that.
And welcome back to Sparta High School. You see the line score there, 6-1. Sparta with the lead over High Point. Live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Again, I want to thank Steve Stoner and Sparta High School for having us. Always a great host. It's always fun coming here. And Sparta has the five-run lead as we go to the bottom of the sixth. And the do up, Berry, and then the top of the order are Remo and Masternak. Against Mega Jennings, who has battled. She's given up eight hits. She's given up five earned. And she's got five Ks. She's pitched well enough to keep her team in the game. First pitch swing popped up, and that'll go foul. So Berry had an RBI single in the second inning, and she popped up to first. Again, no holes in this batting order. Number nine batter, Berry gives it a ride. And that's gonna go off the fence, and she's gonna have herself a double to lead things off. Berry with the leadoff double, her second hit. And that brings up the top of the order. This should be Remo. It's amazing how one through nine can just really get bad on ball, right, Dan? It's a, the, no weakness, no holes in that lineup. You got to battle every time you deliver a pitch. Remo, and that's gonna dunk in. Runner had a hold because they weren't sure if that was gonna be caught or not. So that'll be a single for Remo. Runners at first and second. That did come in a little short, so it would have been a close play at third if there would have been a play there. And grounder, second base. They'll go to short way, try to turn two. And they do! Four, six, three, double play on Masternak to end the inning. Great job by High Point. Actually, two outs, first two outs of the inning. Got ahead of myself there, folks. <laughs> that was such a nice play. Anna Doyle starting it. Cronin with the turn. Getting it over the first base. To Pachowski. 4-6-3, DP, two outs. Berry at third, fly ball, foul. Uh, Mason Munier. Mason walked, struck out, and grounded the sec uh, grounded short. What a terrific 4-6-3 double play turn by the Wildcats. Tough to turn those in softball with the base pass being much shorter than baseball. Fouled away. That was, a, that was a fundamentally sound play, Dan. No bobbles, no nothing. Just good fundamental softball there by high point and turning a very well executed double play. Very at third. Wild pitch. Is she going to get in there? She is safe. Luxbury scores on the wild pitch. 7 1 our score. They've had a couple of those happen today for High Point. Getting some free runners across for Sparta. Six run lead here in the sixth. You near up at bat. And Munir's going to draw the walk. Now bring a backer. Backer grounded to short, doubled and scored in the third, walked and scored in the fifth. Obviously, if you're high point, you got to keep it here if you have any chance in the top of the seventh. Jennings ready to deal. 
No. Acker skies it down the right field line, and that will be foul ball. Talk about that 2015 team from Sparta went to the state finals. The great Gretchen Bowie went on to play at St. John's. Was a terrific player, was all Big East. Mary Mastriani was a tough pitcher on that team. Courtney McKenna was a great catcher. Went to Coast Guard Academy as Munir will go to second. I remember that game, they, they beat a heavily favored Nutley team. And Acker gets into one, and that's going to hit the bottom of the fence. Batter's the bat they're gonna say out of the batter's box, batter will be out. So take that off the scoreboard. Coach Dave Roman gonna want to get an explanation there. But boy, Acker gave that a rip, yeah. so that's gonna be an out. So we're gonna head to the top of the seven. Sparta pushes across a run there, and they're gonna have a 7-1 lead. And we'll have that top of the seventh live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network right after this. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Samino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. And we are back here at Sparta High School. Sparta with a 7-1 lead here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Alexa Acker back in the circle looking to finish off a complete game. She's allowed six hits, one run, 10 Ks. Terrific effort by the Colgate Bound senior. So she was called at her to batter's box when she ripped that ball off the fence so she was declared out. So we go to last chance here for the Wildcats of Urasi, Bullet, and Conklin scheduled up. Urasi struck out twice in her first two at bats. And therefore, a strike. Acker ready to deal. Big swing, Acker ahead. Seems like ending through, from one through seven, Alexa Acker has not lost any velocity on those. Not at all. On, the, on that. Just low, getting big week for the Spartans. Morris Knowles, Knowles up next in a big uh, division game, and then Livingston, a top 10 in the state club and then HWS against the arch rivals from Pope John. Just swinging to miss, Acker gets the K. 11 Ks for Alexa. And this should be Kenna Boudelette. She singled and scored in the third and struck out. Giving up the six hits. Big swing and a miss there. Michaela Conklin's got three of those hits. And she's due up next. Acker deals. Folks at the third out, don't go anywhere. We're hoping to get post-game reaction from the Spartans if they hold on for this win. That's in there for a strike. Acker. 
Tracker deals popped up. This is going to stay in fair territory. Uh, in, in play, I should say. No, we'll go over by the dugout. Barry gives chase. Tracker looking for strikeout number 12 here. Hello. Again, yeah, I want to thank Sparta High School for having us. We really appreciate it. It's always good to come here, see Stoner does a great job. Acker gets another strikeout. Gives her 12. And this will bring up the, the one person's had a day against her, Michaela Conklin. She's three for three. Two infield singles and a single to the left. She has three of the six hits for high point today. Acker looking for strikeout number 13 to end this one. Conklin gets a piece of it, right back to Acker over the first, and that will end it here at Sparta as Acker gets the comebacker to end the inning, end the game. As the final score will be Sparta seven, high point one. Acker gets up six hits. She has 12 Ks and allows one run. A terrific effort. Nick, your thoughts? Dan, a great pitching, a great pitching performance today by Alexa Acker, backed up by excellent offense by Sparta today. She was, she really mowed down this high point lineup. And on the other end, Jennings pitched a good game, but that Sparta lineup was just too much today. Two good teams played some good softball today. All right, well, don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to take a break, but we'll come back with post-game reaction from the Spartans right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Hey, don't you just love it when Morris Sussex Sports broadcasts your games? Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. Are you interested in a career in the STEM field? Then look to Sussex County Community College for high-tech programs in optics, robotics, engineering, machine tools, and more. Sussex provides a cross-disciplinary approach where students work closely with professors to ensure they get the best hands-on experience. The STEM industry is constantly evolving, so join this competitive industry and advance your STEM education today. Pursue your degree at Sussex County Community College by visiting sussex.edu slash apply. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915.
give up your dreams of a great education. At Sussex County Community College, you'll find that tuition is affordable and the faculty is focused on your success. Outstanding academics, personal attention, close to home, just a few of many reasons students choose Sussex. Visit sussex.edu to find out more. Me in this game, we got big plans. Overcoming every challenge. And right now, that means getting by him. It means putting in the time to get faster, to get stronger. One thing is for certain, I will never be outworked. Enough? <laughs> Never. All right. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years, from the big banks where I thought I could get the best, most competitive rate, to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both, until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well then look no further than modern acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Rich Latman. Realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. Samino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060.
Back here live at Sparta High School. Big win for Sparta as they beat High Point 7-1. I'm joined by Alexa Acker and Alexa Berry. Ladies, great job today. Talk about this win. High Point is a solid team. They've been playing well. They they, they advanced in the HWS like you guys. Uh, your thoughts on this one? Yeah, we knew they would be a tough um, team to play. They've been hitting really well recently, and they recently beat Newton, who's also a good team. So we knew that they had come at us strong, so we had to fight back early and get some runs. I knew it was going to be a good game, but I think we came out strong, and we knew that it was going to be a tough game, and we did all that we could. You had some great bats, both of you, today, but take us through your hits today. You had a real nice day at the plate. Yeah, I did really good with the doubles and everything, and I think that hopefully we can keep it going. And just talk about what you were throwing today. It seemed like they, you know, Conklin was the only one that kind of had your number. She got a couple of infield hits. Yeah. She had three of the six hits. She had 12 Ks. Uh, just what was working well for you today? Yeah, I used to play with Michaela, and I know that she's always been like a great hitter. She's super fast, and she always gets the ball down, so I knew that would be challenging, but... Um, my stuff wasn't like it normally is today. My balls weren't moving as much, but I learned to kind of go around that and just hit my spots, which was really effective today. And how big was it to get that early lead? Yeah, it was it was huge because we knew that they had eventually put some runs on the board, so we knew that we had to get that lead so we'd have some safety runs. Let's talk about this batting order. One through nine, there's no holes. I mean, you had a big day down the bottom line of a lot of other teams. You might be batting up top. Just talk about this lineup, how every pitcher has to be ready for you guys. Yeah, I think that we really came out today especially, and I think that our batting order from top to bottom is just outstanding. It's the start of the big week for you guys. you got Knowles coming up. That's a huge uh, division game. Livingston's a top-10 team, and then uh, what's that team over there on 517? Pope John, I think it's called. <laughs> you guys get them on, on Saturday in the HWS. Let's talk about this week. Yeah, so it's a huge week for us. Livingston's a solid team. They... Um, played against Roxbury and it was a close game. I think it went nine innings or something. So we know that that's going to be a close game. It's probably going to be low scoring. So we know that every single hit counts and we just got to get on that pitcher early. Pope John's going to be a good game. We recently beat them 2-1, but it was a really close game. And I think that it was we can keep it going. Well, Alexa, before we let you go, we're going to give you our more Sussex <laughs> Player of the Game t-shirt. There you go. Just show that to the camera. Wow. And it says... Morris Sussex Sports says I'm awesome, and you've had an awesome senior year in volleyball, basketball, and softball. We wish you the best of luck, Thank Alexa. You. Alexa, Thank great you. job. Thank We're going to bring over Coach Dave Roman right now. <laughs> great job, Adoze. Coach, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, yes. a good win over a solid team from, uh, you know, you don't see him in the league, but they're from the county. Yes. Just a nice win. Your thoughts? Uh, yeah. Um, I, our bat started off a little slow, and then we picked it up. Um, I definitely know they uh, put up runs, and they played some good games this year. They had a really good record coming in. So, I mean, you can't take any team lightly these days, especially in these leagues. Uh, everyone's very good, and everyone has everyone can hit on any given day. So I just want to make sure we, we just went out there swinging right away. Yeah, it's so about the lineup. The bottom of the lineup did a lot of damage today. Yes, yes, um, which, which is very key. We've been working on that uh, most of the year because it does come down to hitting, especially uh, most schools. They have one dominant pitcher, and we face a lot of them. We're going to face a lot of them this week. Yeah, yeah let's talk about this week. This week is going to be really tough. There's no rest this week. Uh, you know, Livingston is a top 10 team, and uh, then we have Pope John, who always plays us tough. I don't care what game it is. If it means nothing, they always plays us tough. So, um, you know, definitely we've got to be ready to go all week. And just talk about, you know, you have the, nowadays everyone has two pitchers. You have the luxury of having two outstanding ones at Alexa and uh, Mackenzie Masterak. Yes. Just talk about that. Um, it's definitely it makes it easy for me because um, I can throw – either one either pitcher against any team and um you know we will probably have the same results both pitchers are very good and it's definitely a good if one doesn't have it that day we have a good pitcher just waiting to come in and hopefully close it out for us and what's to say about alexa she said today she didn't have her best stuff but she battled through and kept a good hitting team to just one run yes well is uh picking her spots you know she paints the corners very well she keeps it low which is very important and she still have velocity going into the seventh so uh her ball definitely moves more on certain days um, so, um, but she kept painting the corners, which is very important. So they couldn't really start teeing off on her. Dave, congratulations. Great win. Thank we you wish so you the best Dave. of luck this week. As you said, it's going to be a big one. It's going to be tough. All right. That's going to wrap up our coverage here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. A big win for Sparta. Seven win over High Point. We want to thank Nick Federico, my partner and working the camera today. And the great world famous Vincenzo Sebastiano working the board today. Great job by him. I want to thank George Buha. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Rounder to third, field it, and legging out McConklin with the good speed.
And he should get the infield sink. He's coming in at, with a 517 batting average, 15 runs scored, seven stolen bases. And right away, she's gonna take off Conklin. She gets the stolen base. Just gonna say, Nick, she leaves it. The great Mason Munier at shortstop. And at third base, Gabby Hine. Swing and a miss. And Acker will get her first strikeout. Get the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Sparta defense. So one out here, top of the first. Thanks for joining us on Morris on Sports. Acker deals. Inside corner, gets back-to-back caves. -back that one looking. And we had a nice year, 13 and seven. And they had some kids graduate, key kids like Cassie Britt, Maddie Henyon, Molly Noonan and pitcher Ray Antti, who's going to be at. This is the sport she really shines. Rounder to third, gobbled up. Over to first, and now you get the dangerous Munir on the 5-3 put out. See if Acker gets into a rhythm here. Shook off the first pitch. Swing and a miss. And Acker will register another K. deals and that's in there for strike three so she gets two more K's in this inning and it'll be two nothing on the RBI and again Sparta gonna be smart and gonna take second base on the throw so Berry gets the RBI single to center Coach Dave Roman coming over he was a coach at St. Elizabeth the high school and then also at the college they go with the great Rick Poots and on the offer, it will be a strike. So Jenny from South Florida will play the College World Series. Mary Kijinski on that team. Big swing and a miss. She gets a strikeout. First out of the inning. That'll bring up Boudelet. Lined. And then just over Master Dak's head. So a great at bat for Boudelet. She gets a single. And Fry had 17 strikeouts in that game. There's a ground ball. And that's going to get through for a single, so High Point's got something cooking. Yeah, Dan, there was a threat. Acker ready to deal. Little number in front of the plate, gobbled up by Lauker. She gets it over the first to end the inning. So good trip for them. Correa was a coach of the first one. And you can throw in Jefferson because they were part of the SCIL. Mm -hmm. Swing and a miss, and that's a huge strikeout for Jennings. Runs. So that was a real nice win for Hype. Ripped. That's, and that will be fair. And that'll be a double for Blew out to left field her first time up. Munir up there now. She scored after hitting that double. And what a great job by Jennings to get a strikeout. She's got strikeouts against the Muniers. A big pitch coming up here. Skies it out. To left field, then go off the fence. Acker ready to deal. Big swing and a miss, and another strikeout for Acker. I'll bring up Leto, who is grounded out to second her first time up. And she's going to go to first. Taking it all by herself as the first baseman. Talk about those state titles at High Point. They won a section title in the early 2000s. Richie Higgins was the head coach. Good swing and a miss. And a strikeout will end a 1 2 3 inning. So Acker set there. It's a guy in a long chair. Skied. And squeezing it. First baseman. Nicely done. Second there, I thought. Second there. Gave up seven hits, five Ks. Leto had two hits in that game and popped up, short, squeezed. Very tough to do. Line to right field, that's gonna drop in there. And that's gonna be a single and we'll get a little bit of an E there. He does have two outs to work. And again, being very careful. Here comes the runner trying to score and she's out. Great job to end the end. Drop third strike, but we'll get it over there for the strikeout, number eight. We had the upset win over South Hunterdon. They'll go to number three, North Hunterdon. And PJ will come here, 7-2 matchup in the Battle of Sparta. 
Hacker bears down and gets the strikeout. So Chopper in front of the plate. Hacker gets there, guns it over, and Conklin using those wheels gets her third hit. 400 Central, Corey Grillo back. Hot smash, that's gonna get through for a base hit. And it is Goodyear. But we'll have to take a look around and see who they were talking about that change. Goodyear with a rip to short, gobbled up, and she's out, good play at short field. And that's gonna be a line drive to right, gobbled up. And Acker's gonna come around the score on the RBI six. Getting ready to deal. And caught third strike on the tip. So first pitch swing on her. Acker looks at second, will go get the shore out at first. It's almost like a bunt. Top of the sixth. Runner on third. Well, in there for the strikeout. So she battles back with the kid. Again, no holes in this batting order. Number nine batter, Berry gives it a ride. And that's gonna go off the fence and she's gonna have herself a double. Remo, and that's gonna dunk in. Runner had a hold because they weren't sure if that was gonna be caught. And a grounder, second base. They'll go to short way, try to turn two. And they do! Point, turning a very well executed double play. Henry at third. Wild pitch. Is she gonna get in there? She is safe. Remember that game they beat a heavily favored Nutley team. And Acker gets into one, and that's gonna hit the bottom of the fence. Pulls up next in a big uh, division game, and then Livingston, top 10 in the state club, and then HWS against the arch rivals from Pope John. We're gonna miss, Acker gets the K. Good job. Acker gets another strikeout. 